Welcome back to Make Stuff Break Stuff. Today we're going to test our forge burner that we built in my last video. To get this burner set up for our gas supply, I've hooked it up to a gas hose using a hose barb and a cheap regulator that I got off the internet. Nice and snug. Don't over and tighten it, you don't want to crush your fittings. Also on this regulator, screwed all the way in is full pressure and backing it out is min pressure. So I'm going to set to min pressure to start with. The end game of this whole project is just to build a small forge that's temporary in nature because I'm going to be moving houses very soon and I don't want to have something permanent that I have to deal with breaking down and getting out of the way. I've got some fire bricks so we're going to set them up, try to get a small forge up and running today. We'll see how this works. Looks like we need a little more pressure. Appears to be about the min pressure that it'll that it'll run at. We've got a nice blue flame, but let's turn up the pressure and see how it works. I think overall that was a successful experiment. The temporary forge operated great. It worked well for what I wanted to do today. I was able to forge out this set of tong blanks and they're all set to rivet and finish up. I just need to draw out the reins and clean them up a bit, which I'll probably do here in the next couple of days. I think the forge would work even better if I can get it out of the wind. Uh, unfortunately right now I don't really have a spot to do that, but hopefully in my next place I'll be able to get it sheltered. Thank you for watching Make Stuff Break Stuff. I hope you enjoyed this test of my new forge burner. If you liked it, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks.